Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple Python program which is going to send a message on Telegram to any group. And then I'm going to also show you how you can run that code 24 by 7 by hosting that code on uh, IBM Cloud. So all of this is going to be completely free and the reason why I'm uh, choosing to host it on IBM Cloud is because it is completely free and you can sign up it for free. It doesn't really ask for any credit card unlike like AWS or Google uh, Cloud. They ask for you to uh, give your credit card details in order to sign up. But IBM Cloud doesn't ask for that and that is what really uh, I liked about and that's why you all of you will be able to sign up and follow the tutorial which I, I'm going to show you now. So uh, there are lots of videos I have already created on Telegram, right? You can see uh, this is one of the video which is already like one of the uh, second top most watched videos of my channel which talks about how you can send a Telegram and Python uh, automation. Okay, but in this video I didn't really show you how you guys can host it. So I just showed you how you can uh, create this program and how you can read it, run it on your local system. But uh, let's be honest, you cannot run your uh, desktop or laptop 24 by 7. You have to shut down your uh, laptop or computer or desktop or whatever. So you want to make sure that your code is running on some server. Okay, that's the reason it can run 24 by 7. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do that. So let's just quickly jump on to that. And first of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. And also do like and uh, comment on the video. So that is going to help uh, this video perform better on uh, YouTube algorithm. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the code first. So this is just a very simple code which I have put here. Okay, this code uh, is going to uh, send a message to, uh, to the Telegram group and the group on which it is going to send the message is called hello world training group okay so now what we are doing here is we are uh, just importing a request module and then we are writing base url this is telegram base url which you need to write and this is going to be your uh, bot whatever you have bought you have created this is going to be the token of that bot okay just make sure you do, do not share the token with anyone i'm just showing you because i know how to handle this how to delete this uh, token so i'm just gonna do those things and if you want to know how to delete this uh, token or want to follow along uh, with some of the other stuff, you can just go ahead and watch my previous uh, videos about Telegram automation. You are going to learn absolutely everything about Telegram uh, automation. So now let's move on. And now we have created a parameter, which is actually a dictionary, which is holding chat ID. So this chat ID is of this group. Okay, this is a group and uh, this is the chat id of that group now how to get the chat id i have already shown in previous videos i'm going to give the link in description and in the text we are writing whatever the message which we want to send so previously i have tested it with i love telegram bot now i'm gonna write something else let's write hello world from okay so this is the message which i'm gonna write and after that what we are doing is we are just making a get request and we are passing this base URL which is this URL and also we are uh, passing this data uh, which is actually this parameter. Okay, so that's all this is very simple we are just sending we are just going to run this uh, few lines of code and what it should do is it should be sending this message on this channel or uh, this sorry this telegram group okay so you can see now we have already received this uh, message here so if I run it again we are going to receive the message again okay. So you can see now we have received the message again. So that is, you know, that is how simple it is to create a, a bot and send a message using bot, uh, using Python and Telegram. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and then we are going to host it on IBM Cloud. Okay, so uh, let me just copy everything. And then we are going to go to, I'm just going to copy it. You can just do control C, which is going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to cloud.ibm.com. And here, if you are a new user, you need to make sure you go to create an account and create your account. But in this case, I have already created an account, so I don't really need to create an account again. Otherwise, you can just go and follow along this create an account uh, tab. Uh, but for now, since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in. So once you log in after creating your account, which I'm just going to do right now, you should be landing to the page, which is going to be shown very quickly on this screen. So once you see that, uh, once you see that page, it's going to be quite simpler, you know, to follow along. So you should be seeing something like this. Okay. You should be able to see this. You, you are moving to uh, this page and on the left hand side, we are going to see something which is called a uh, function. Okay. So you can see here we have function pages, by the way, it is still loading. So you can see on the left hand side, we have functions. 
So what functions uh, does it? It is more like a you know serverless thing which you don't really need to go into detail of. But once you click on functions, you are going to be coming to this screen, and then here on the left hand side you can see we have actions. So just click on actions, and in the actions we are going to define what is the action which we want to take. Okay, so. you can just give a any logical name to this action so for example in this case i'm just going to call it uh, i'm just going to click on create and then i'm going to select action and i'm going to call it uh, sending hello world message okay so this is the action name and then we are going to create a package so just click on create package you can give any name to this package so i'm just going to call it sending hello world package you can just give it whatever name you want doesn't really matter it's just uh, just should be the logical name which you want to you know uh, remember or just want to yeah just just need to remember now after that in the run time we are just going to select python 3.7 because we are running our code or our code is actually written in python 3.7 but you have written your code in any other language you can go ahead and select that as well so now we have did that let's click on create it is going to create an action and then it is going to give us an interface where we are going to write our python program okay so this is what it is uh, this is what it is showing now what we need to do here is after line number 12 you can hit enter and you can paste your python code here so uh, since our code is here i'm just going to copy it again i think i if i remember i already copied it but anyhow i'm just going to copy it again and paste it here and just make sure alignment is proper so this is the code which we have and in fact we don't really need this print statement you can just remove it so this is this is the code which we have now okay and now you can click on save so it is going to save this code and then you are going to have an option of invoke so once you click on invoke this code is going to run and then you can uh, see that we should be able to receive a new message here again okay so i'm just going to click on invoke and hopefully it is going to run uh, successfully and we are not going to get any error and it should also send a message here okay that's uh, you can see we have already received a message and also here uh, it is going to update the status soon you can see it is a green uh, signal green check mark which says uh, this program run successfully without any issue okay so everything is uh, fine until here now we have already defined an action okay so action means what is the thing which we want to do now we need to tell when we want to perform this action okay so in order to do this we need to create a trigger so on the left hand side you can see we have connected triggers click on connected triggers and then you have option of add trigger so i'm just going to click on add trigger and from add trigger then there are so many options but let's say if you want to send a message every 1 minute or every 5 minutes uh, or you have some kind of schedule on which you want to send a message in that case you can just select periodic which i'm going to do just right now and then you can specify a, a trigger name i'm just going to call it uh, hello world trigger you can just call it whatever it doesn't really matter and then you need to specify on which day you want to run it so if you want to run it on every day you can select all the dates here and then you can select on which hour you want to run it for example let's say you want to run it every day at 3 am in that case you can select every day and here you can select only 3 okay and that's all you can click on create and connect now i'm not going to do this uh, what i'm going to do is here you can see we have two options we have pattern the one which we just followed and then we also have cron okay so cron is basically you give the you give the schedule in a cron format So if you don't know about cron you can just uh, go to cron tab I think cron tab guru and it is going to tell you what is the syntax of uh, what is the cron syntax if you want to schedule a message to be sent at certain interval so for example let's say if I want a message to be sent at every minute so in that case we need to change it to star and it is going to be star as well so now you can see we have five stars which means this message is going to be sent ev at every minute so every one minute this message is going to be sent so i'm just going to copy it and going to paste it here in cron expression so it is star space star space star space star okay so five times star and now here on the left hand side you can see uh, what it means is that this message is going to be running uh, this code is going to be running every one minute so this is going to run at 1724 then going to be running at 1725 and so on So that's all we need to do here now we can click on create and connect and that's all now we are ready uh, we have successfully hosted our telegram code on ibm cloud 
and now we can just on top you can see actions we can click here on actions and then on left hand side we have triggers so you can click on triggers and it is going to show you information of the trigger which you have created now here we should be soon able to receive a new message because now the code is going to run at next minute okay so we should be able to see the message here again and also you can click on this uh, trigger if you want to see the logs and so on you can just click on this and you can explore more i'm just going to leave it on you but here you can see we have already received a message which we just uh, received just right now okay at 1724 so soon there is going to be another message which is going to be sent here so you you are going to just keep uh, keep receiving the same message again and again every one minute now of course you can change the code and you can send every new message at every one minute or whatever interval which you want you can uh, you can this is a very simple code which i have written but you can follow my other tutorials and you can change the code and make it as complex as you want so for example if i just want to show you uh, i'm just going to click on actions i'm going to show you my other bots which is hosted here and uh, guys it is completely free okay i think even if you run the code every one minute it is going to be completely free uh, so you can see i have a bot which is called telegram chatbot so this is the chatbot which manages all my telegram groups and this is also running uh, 24 by 7 okay so i'm running couple of uh, i have posted couple of codes here completely free and i'm using it almost from last three months which is running quite smoothly i don't have to pay even a single penny and you can see here we have received another message again here so which means our code is running perfectly fine uh, if you have any query uh, feel free to write in the comment box whatever query you have whatever automation ideas you have or whatever bot you want to create uh, if you're facing any issue let me know in the comment box i'll try to help you so i hope this uh, this ended all the questions which i was receiving about how to host it and how to make it run 24 by 7 uh, so i hope it uh, put a full stop to all those questions so that's all in this video. See you again in the next video.